So as someone who started off programming in a garbage collected language, such as JavaScript, all you know is that you type in some code and out comes the behavior, which may or may not perform the way you intended. But anything beyond that, anything that goes on underneath the programming language, we do not talk about because that's where spiders and monsters live. And yes, I am afraid of spiders. Like, we all know to some extent that computers can speak zeros and ones, but that's as far as most people go, because just looking at it, it already looks indistinguishable from dark magic. And I've been neglecting looking at anything that goes on underneath the programming language, because I thought I'd be too dumb to get this stuff, and like, I'd need some divine level godlike math skills. But that turns out not to be true. And I'm terrible at math, for the record. And really, you can get by with little to no prerequisite knowledge in electrical engineering or computer science, for that matter. And to prove this, we'll be building the state of the art 16 bit computer from scratch in a couple of weeks. We'll be building the RAM, the CPU, the assembly language, like almost everything, all virtually using an emulator because we don't want to buy any parts or do any electrical engineering. And really, it means that you won't have to purchase any materials, this is all free. And there are little to no prerequisites, though knowing a programming language would be helpful. It's not absolutely required. Overtly, this is an effort to merge and condense the two awesome books known as Code by Charles Pitzoid. It's a really fun read that goes over the developmental thought process of how we got here, and the elements of computing systems, also known as Nanotetris. And it's a huge inspiration because it's a full, hands-on approach to building a modern computer. And emphasis on hands-on because you're not just like sitting there trying to absorb all of this stuff passively. You're going to be fiddling and constantly playing with something make mistakes, and honestly that makes it more of a fun way to learn this stuff. And honestly, these are the best two resources that I wish I would have read a long time ago because they paint the full picture of modern computers down to the very bit.